Hey guys, GMX here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Game Capture in your two PC streaming setup. Now you might ask, what is Game Capture? Game Capture is a way in OBS to capture just your full screen applications. What this means is while you're playing games, if you tab out to go to direct messages or any uh, personal things, you can tab out with, without fear of showing it to your stream. This is highly beneficial uh, for streamers who want to keep their personal information private and uh, make sure that they're not leaking information to the internet that they don't want to. There are three main ways of hooking up your video feed from your gaming PC to your streaming PC. The first is by connecting one cable out of your gaming PC to your monitor and the second to your capture card on your stream PC. The second is using your capture card as a pass through. What this means is you're connecting from your graphics card in your gaming PC and then putting that into your capture card on your stream PC and then from there connecting your stream uh, from your stream PC capture card to your monitor. To make this game capture method work, we will need to use the first setting. What that means is you will have two cables coming out of your gaming PC, one going to your monitor and your second going to your stream PC's capture card. Next, I'll walk through how to normally set up your uh, two PC setup, and now I'm gonna show you how to do the game capture setup. So for this, what you're gonna wanna do is have your both your gaming PC and your streaming PC, and have both of them to have OBS project on it. You can have Streamlabs OBS as well. Uh, both will work in this situation. Typically, on your Windows desktop, to set up a two PC stream setup with the uh, mirrored setting, what you would do is go ahead and right click on your home page, go to display settings, and just like we have it here, we would be duplicating our display or mirroring it. Uh, what this does is it, whatever comes onto my gaming PC shows up through my capture card on my streaming PC. But this isn't what we want. We don't want people to see our window setting. What we want is like if I tab it in this game, I only want to see this game stuff. If I tab out, I don't want to see any instant messenger or anything like this. All I want to see is this gameplay here. So what we are going to do is we're going to change that back up. So go ahead and get back to your windows. And what we're going to do is actually instead of display, uh, what we're going to do. So instead of duplicating the display, what we want to do is extend these displays. Now you can see there's a little hookup on the screen and what you can see is I'm on my gaming PC right now and if I slide over to the right, you can then see I'm going onto the stream, uh, the, the, the game capture. So what this does is it essentially makes two monitors on my PC. So this, this one I'm on currently is the gaming PC. You aren't gonna be able to see this one, but the when I slide over, this is what's displayed to the gaming PC, or the streaming PC through the capture card. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, be sure to leave a like. Also consider subscribing as I'm gonna have some really good videos coming up here in the future. Additionally, if you guys ever wanna check out my gaming channel, I have a gaming channel over on my other YouTube channel. And additionally, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Go ahead and check that out in the description below. Now that we got the two monitors set up, what we wanna do is go back to our OBS on our gaming PC. We're gonna open this up, and now we're gonna add a game capture. I've already added it here, but I'm going to make a new one here real quick for us. We'll go ahead and remove this one. What we want to do is make a game capture on our gaming PC. This seems a little odd to have OBS open on your gaming PC, uh, but we'll, I'll show you here in a second because we aren't actually going to be recording or doing anything like that. Uh, what we want to do is do game capture here, uh, create new, that's fine. And what we want to do is capture any full screen application. There's other modes you can do, like capture a specific window or any foreground window with hotkey. Uh, but I like any full screen application because this makes sure this makes sure you're not sharing information you don't want to. Uh, one thing we want to do is limit capture frame rate here, uh, and then capture cursor is fine, and use anti cheat uh, capability hook. That's fine. That's auto selected. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. Uh, hook rate. Let's go ahead and click normal. That's recommended. And what we're going to do is now we're pretty much set up to capture game capture on your streaming PC. Now that we have that set up, what we want to go do is right click right here. And what we will actually be doing is doing this full screen projector source and going to the capture card that you have. I have an Evermedia. If you have an Elgato, it should say Elgato on this. What you're going to do is go ahead and click that. 
And what that's going to do is it's going to enable only full screen things to be popping up on that screen. So now if I go ahead and open up PUBG on my gaming PC, <clears throat> now only this will display. I'm going to go ahead and click the Windows key. Now I'm able to open up all my instant messages and stuff like that. So like right now, here, uh, I can show you right here. I'll switch to my webcam real quick and show you guys what I can do. So you can see here in the bottom left hand corner, there's my camera. What I can show you is now that this is my gaming PC. I am on a Windows tab um, on my file explorer. And uh, if you can see over here on my stream, um, only the game capture is showing up. But I'm still able to go ahead and click in here, la di da da da. And now I can go ahead and open PUBG back up. And I, that's all you can see now. So as you can see with my camera, uh, this is my gaming PC up here on the left. Over here is my streaming PC on the right that has OBS open. On, over here on the left, I don't have PUBG open. I have a file explorer open. It's kind of hard to see with the glare and everything, but um, I can open this up or I can come back to PUBG. As you can see, I'm right in here, um, just like I am here. But if I tab out on the gaming PC, just like this, come on, there we go. There we go. Now I can see anything if I want to go to Steam, look at a Steam message, anything like that, I can. But if you look over here on the game, uh, streaming PC, my stream's just seeing whatever I'm displaying over here. It's not displaying anything that I'm searching, looking up, anything like that. This is really useful for things like making sure if you hide a purchase or anything like that, your credit card doesn't get exposed, instant messages don't get exposed, all that fun stuff. One subtle thing to check is to make sure that on your gaming PC, make sure that your monitor 1, which would be your gaming PC, and your monitor 2, which would be your virtual uh, monitor going to your capture card, make sure that those refresh rates are back to what they normally are. Uh, if you have a 144 hertz monitor and go from a mirror display to a duplicated display, sometimes it'll mess up the hertz rate uh, and you'll only be running at 60 FPS or anything like that. So make sure you can go back to 144 hertz. This really helps keeping my stuff private and also make sure that my streams only seeing what I want them to see. Now just note that this is a extended display. So if you actually go ahead and move something to that second display by putting it to the right, you will actually bring stuff over your stream. Um, this is nice for the one exception of when you would want to bring something over that's not a full screen application. So for instance, if you have if you're trying to show a video or a web page or anything like that, you can actually drag it over to your second screen and have more control on what you're bringing to that second screen. What you will be doing is you'll be dragging whatever's on your gaming PC over to the virtual screen through your capture card. Uh, you'll be able to see this in your source browser in your streaming PC. Um, and let me show you that real quick. So as you can see here, I have the game capture working over here uh, and my OBS on my streaming PC over here on the right. Now on the left hand side, uh, on my gaming PC, what I want to do is open up a Windows tab. What I'm going to be doing is actually dragging it over virtually through OBS and over to this other screen. Just keep dragging it to the right and you'll see on the actual screen on your OBS on your streaming PC, you will see that web browser come through. So this, you have to be careful with this. You don't want to slide something over you don't want people to see but you have more control on what you can slide over there. I hope this short and sweet tutorial helped you out because this was a headache of mine for the longest time. I had it set up to duplicate the displays and so my capture card only picked up what I was displaying on my gaming PC, which isn't exactly what I wanted. If I wanted to purchase a game midstream, I had to then switch scenes to make sure that I was on a different scene, uh, that no one could see my uh, credit card information or my instant messages as soon as I opened up Discord or anything like that. And this allowed me just to take a deep breath and be able to know that I have more control over my stream. Hopefully this video helped you guys out, and if it did, be sure to leave a like. I also do other DIY videos such as woodworking and house improvements, so I'd love for you guys to stick around and maybe consider subscribing as well. In my next episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a two PC stream setup using an HDMI cable and just one other cable. It's going to be awesome. Stick around. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.